I didn't get into this business by being an airhead or a, or a screwball. My attitude was always, if it's real, it can take the pressure. Good morning. Hope you enjoyed that intro. It was like a closing of a chapter as we enter a new one. That new one being, well, for the sake of this video, High Rocks. We've got High Rocks in January, Manchester. Myself and Jade are doing a mixed doubles in Mane and Jade Skillen, another Jade, is at the reins for coaching. So she offers a 12 week block. However, we've got about 16 weeks before we have our first high rock. So she said, look, let's do the full 16. So this week is benchmark week. We've got some lifts today, rest tomorrow. I think we've got a 5K test on Wednesday, then some sprint work, but I shall document a couple of sessions for you. We should be good. Not looking forward to seeing how strong I am on these lifts. Haven't squatted, back squatted in a while. Bench isn't that strong, deadlift. Like I'm not very, even back in the bodybuilding days, they weren't particularly movements that we used to do, really. We kind of hinge with an idea and I got quite strong at that, but be good, good chance to see where we're at, especially after, God, over a year of TRT, is it? Must be now. Last, yeah, over a year, about a year and a, year and a quarter, year and a half of just flat rate TRT. So we'll see how we get on. Breakfast today, this is a banging little combination if you haven't tried it. Sesame seed bagel toasted, low fat cream cheese, rocket, low sugar, Thai sweet chili sauce, scrambled eggs. Banging. 50 grams of oats, whey protein, dark chocolate and berries and some honey. Nice fuel for today's session. So we are back on True Coach. The last time I was running with this application was with Dan. Quite like it, not too bad. Some people love it, some people hate it. I don't mind it, I think it's all right. Deadlift today, bench press, OHP, back squat, and supinated barbell bent over row. We've got about seven sets on each. Plenty of warm ups working toward a 1RM. I have not 1RM tested probably in all of my lifting career, apart from one back squat at Lewisham College which I probably couldn't even consider a squat. It was 200. Actually, I'll tell you what, it wasn't even bad, you know. It was a 200 key back squat back in the Lucian College days with Luke. Me and him both did it. Depth weren't there, but that was the only ever time I've won RM tested. So plenty of warm ups, plenty of stretching today prior to lifting. We got our tough knee wraps. We have the wrist wraps and we have the one MR straps if we're pulling today from the deadlift. Really, I'm a big fan of the one MR. These particular level ones, I love. I, I really don't like thick straps when pulling. I just prefer the durability, the, the thinness of these. These are fantastic. Feel comfortable, wrap around the bar nicely, and very good. So one MR, tough, tough. Pre-workout time, and we shall head to the gym. Okay, time to test. This is the first time I have one RM tested in all my lifting career properly, that is. So we had five exercises today, worked down from a rep scheme of 12 to 10, 8, 6, 4, 2, and 1. Okay, so that was the setup for each exercise. Deadlifts, I was quite happy with. Hips could have uh, stayed a little lower. They tend to shoot up a bit, but uh, 180 for one felt nice. And uh, into a bench. Bench has never been my strongest in terms of like straight barbell benching. Dumbbells not too bad. Fixed machines like Cybex or Hammer Strength Incline have, have been comfortable and okay, but there's just something about straight bar benching I've always found a little little tough. This 110 moved quite easily. I think I could have probably pushed on a little bit more, maybe 115 to 120, but with no spot psychologically, it's always going to be a little tricky. Then we went into some squats. Knees felt okay on these. You know, I prioritized some stretching work prior to lifting today because I know it's going to be a big session. Always had a, a few issues with my knees, like just straight barbell back squatting. But the 140 for one, I think just if I'm being critical of my form, I could have gone a little bit lower. Could have improved on the depth. But uh, again, happy happy with the movement so far. Strict press, 1RM at 70 kilos, which I will take. And then we had a bent, bent over 1RM, which I should have been underhand. My apologies, JD, if you're watching this, but uh, more felt more like a, a pen layer. But all in all, very happy. Good morning. I saw Smile yesterday in the cinema. It's more like that, innit? 
really good, really jumpy. Quite a nice storyline, typical good old scary film with some real silky shots in there as well. Obviously I appreciate that because I'm a videographer. Today is 5K test day, which is uh, do a 5K as fast as you can. I think my best is 26 minutes and something. I'll have to check on my Strava, but uh, I don't get nervous. But I'm starting to get a little, I'm feeling a bit battered from Monday's testing session, that 1RM. So Monday and Tuesday, really proactive at ensuring sleep. Went back to the gym for a, a stretch, sauna, plunge pool combination. I'm still feeling a little bit, oh. I also haven't jabbed in nearly three weeks. We're coming completely off now. We'll do a video about that very soon, but we'll get bloods done in a week or two and see where we're at. You know me, don't have to say anything, the usual. Oats, whey, dark chocolate, frozen berries, got a couple of squares, bars, a cup of coffee. I'm gonna watch some Dr. Disrespect and then give it about 50 minutes to an hour and we'll head down to Norman's Park for 5K. 5K time, it seems like there is a park run going on. A bit of dynamic stretching to begin with. Norman's Park is 2K, the one whole loop is 2K, so for 5Ks, two and a half laps, which is always quite nice. I wanna do just a 1K warm up, Dynamic stretching, 1k warm up, and then we are good to go. Weather's quite nice today, so I'm a, I'm a run without. I'm a run. Is that that guy that fucking does that outside our. I've got a Toyota Corolla, mate. Calm down. Shocking, 28.03. My best here was 25 minutes and that was, when was the Queen's funeral? Two weeks ago? That was my best. I felt great as well, no fatigue, had a few days off. It's good to, it's definitely good to be in a spot whereby you can assess what went wrong. As soon as I started, I knew I was going too quick. I should have stopped. Heart rate was elevated. Damn. And it's genuinely annoying as well. This is the most annoyed I've been in a long time with like regard to sport or a lip. I never even used to get this annoyed when we were bodybuilding and I would miss out on a few reps. It's really frustrating. Oh well, bad day at the office, we all have them. But yeah, 25 minutes for my best 5K. My legs felt heavy. 3K and I thought, oh God, this is gonna be a tough one. And just bottom down. Still get it done though. Whenever you feel like that, don't stop. Just, just get, just do it in it. Because you, at least you're building somewhat of a capacity. Right. I need a bath and a stretch or something, man. These legs are feeling brock up. I've got speed. I've got like sprints tomorrow as well. 600 and 400. Oh. I'm 29 on Friday. You start making those noises as you close in on 30. The knees. You're probably watching this video thinking, what on earth is High Rocks? In layman's terms, High Rocks is a functional fitness event that's comprised of a set of one kilometer runs and in between those 1K runs is some workload, but the vast majority of the work in the event is running, hence why we are looking to improve and increase our aerobic capacity whilst also doing more sports specific work on a weekly basis as well. Myself and Jade Packer are doing a mixed doubles. You can do a men's doubles, a women's doubles, or if you want to go at it on your own, then you can do that. The, the benefit of a mixed or a doubles is that you can share the workload. So you'll both be doing the 1K runs, but as an example, like myself and Joe at Saturday's March on partner work, if for example, he's struggling with the box jumps, I can then jump in, box off the, pardon the pun, box off the rest of the work whilst he takes a breather, but then he can potentially do more ski over work because the fucking velocity in Joe is ridiculous. So you can kind of divvy up the load. So there's an element of it being quite tactical in the, in the doubles work, which is I'm looking forward to. On the screen now is the work that we'll be doing. Instead of me saying 1K run in between, I'm just gonna say we open up with a 1K run, then the work is a thousand meter ski erg, two by 25 meter sled push, two by 25 meter sled pull, 80 meter burpee broad jump, 1000 meter rowing, 200 meter kettlebell, 
farmers carry 100 meter sandbag lunges and then 100 wall balls. So we've got some, I think we've got some specific wall ball work tomorrow, which is some thrusters and then some, uh, some wall balls at high rocks weight, which is six key. Six kilo, so strapping, different type of prep that you're probably used to. We've had bodybuilding preps over the last years on this channel, but we are now going for high rocks. We'll also get Jade in, because we need to be uh, now working with her, because we're doing this together. So yeah, there we go, very, very excited, looking forward to this one. I think Ollie's, Ollie March runs at a high rocks this week, this weekend, so we'll see how he gets on. And uh, there'll be more, more videos to come. In terms of my plans next year, I think Joe Brightman does want to also do a high rocks in June. So uh, if we spread these out, because our one's in January, I want to get London to Paris in because the Mallorca 312 is sold out, it went quickly. So London to Paris. Another high rocks in summer, and then I want to do the London Duathlon in September. They're the kind of main events. The ultimate goal, I think, for me is some form of triathlon slash Ironman, but baby steps to begin with. We're just, we're just kind of finding our feet in this, in this world, but uh, enjoying it very much. Okay, I will leave you to it. Any questions? I'm no high rocks master, but my coach Jade Skillin is, so if you've got any questions that I don't know, I can pass them on to her. But thank you for watching this video. Appreciate the continued support. I'll see you very soon. We'll be doing a review on the on the rads because I'm after a slightly more functional, functional shoe because the Metcons and Rewalks aren't quite cutting it. I think they're more geared toward a lifting shoe and we need a, a better trainer now that we are doing more running work. So we'll give them a review in the next video. video. It should be out on Wednesday. Okay, thank you for watching. Thank you, good night. Much love.